This is Reggie from Gunpla New York, and today I'm doing an unboxing for you guys here at the Gunpla Network. Canadian Gundam sent me a package, and all I know about the package before I open this is it's just Digimon related. I have no idea what kit they got me. All I know, it's Digimon. So I'm gonna open it up for you guys. But before I begin, I wanna give a big shout out to Canadian Gundam for supplying me this. Go check them out. They have a wide array of selections of Digimon, Gundam, and probably all sorts of different kits that you probably didn't think they even had available, but then you look at it and go, oh wow, they actually have that. They have a wide range of selectability, paints, equipment, and they do offer a flat rate shipping fee of $10 all across North America. So go check them out and see what they have. But while we're at it, I'm gonna open up the box and see what they sent me to review for you guys. I'm pretty pumped because this thing is always a fun treat to build Digimon kids. And also, Angemon was the Digimon that he didn't show up. Patamon didn't Digivolve that much in the show, but when he did, it meant business. You knew something big was gonna go down, whether it was Myotismon or Black War Greymon in the second season. So I'm gonna open up and show you all the runners available in this kit. First off, we are starting with the A plate and it's your multicolor plate that you can always expect out of a Bandai kit. You're gonna get, at least from what I could tell, four different assortment of color. You're gonna get the white for his face. You're gonna get his long, luscious blonde hair. You're going to get kind of like a Strike Freedom Gold for the ornate parts in his design. And you're also gonna get brown for his buckles and all his straps, very Nomura straps that you have in his design. So for the most part, all of it is in separate colors, though those kind of rhinestone parts and the gray parts you might have to paint on your own, but they are pretty fine. It would be difficult to paint. Next, we have the B1 runner. It is all white and all I'm seeing, you can see his feet, his legs, joints, his hands, a big B1 plate just with a lot of detail despite it being white. They didn't have to go that hard, but they did. And it's greatly appreciated for them to add that detail when they could have cheaped out on the white. Surprisingly, B2 is just one plate and one fist for the hand of fate attack that he uses in the anime. So I was hoping they could maybe do two, but they decided to only do one fist. He could end things in one punch, man. Next up, we have the C1 runner, and you're gonna see some angel wings. I can see his waist, so that's gonna add up to kind of some of the articulation. I can also see, see a little bit of his chest and more joints and more ornate parts. Again, C2 is just gonna be mostly the same. You're gonna see another set of angel wings and more joints for probably his arms and probably his ankles. But those wings look so pretty. They look immaculate, very striking. Just, I haven't seen wings that pretty since Wing Zero Custom. You're gonna get a D1, and this one kind of has like a more rubbery kind of feel to it. I don't know the exact type of material it's used. Obviously it's plastic, but it's softer than usual. And you're gonna see it for his kind of like the cloth material in Angemon's design. Very rubbery, very soft. It's kind of red, ripped blue, kind of like an angel has robes and it kind of rips itself off a bit when he transforms. You're gonna get this kind of polystyrene plate and you're gonna definitely see his helmet and probably a few more rhinestones as a part of his design there. So they are definitely using different types of material with the plastic to try to give you a different feel for texture, which I honestly find pretty impressive. It's kind of incredible to see in the last few years, Bandai trying to add more layers and details in that vein. Next, we're gonna get the polycap runner, which is gonna be for the arm. I can see his neck. I can see the joints for opening, the, doing a widespread with his arms, his knees, ankles, and probably some you're probably not gonna use. They always like to give you a little bit more than you need to, which can come in a saving grace when you need more kits 
when you are building more and you lose a couple of poly caps, you're like, shoot, I need more. Next up we have the sticker sheet and it's pretty modest to be fair. I see his visor, some designs that couldn't be molded in and I think those two, four and five, four, six, I should say, are for his hands, which I hope they're not for his knuckles, but if they are, that would be a little disappointing. Not every detail can be molded in and I get it, but I would say this sticker sheet is a lot better than say, War Greymon and the Brave Shield. And finally, you have the instruction manual, which is very light. You're gonna see in the back what kind of poses Anjumon could do, what can he do, what he comes with, what he's gonna look like. Oh, granted, this one looks a little bit more painted. The gold on this build looks a lot better than what was on the plates. You're going to get a paint guide if you wanna build it up and paint it yourself. Simple instructions, very forward. Honestly, reminds me so much of Magnemon's manual it was just so light and it was very straightforward with how everything is built up and put together with the figure eye standard kits it's like they say it's the standard for putting these little creatures together so that is everything that anjumon comes with again thank you to canadian gundam for supplying me this what i do and what everyone in this channel does would not be possible without you guys so give yourselves a pat on the back and a shout out I will be bringing you this Anjumon review very shortly in the next week or so. I will be bringing you this kit and the review for it hopefully very shortly. Again, a big thank you for Canadian Gundam for handing me this. I can't wait to build it up and compare it to the other Digimon I have in my collection. This is Reggie and I will see you later.